This is me, and uh, this is Ed. Hey, guys. And we are working on a rig with a Fright Props uh, motor in order to run some marionettes for one of our shows at Dark Hour. Here is the mechanism. And basically, you can see that it is a wheel. It has three different devices being run, you know, simple machines being run off of the wheel. Uh, the first one is a uh, Scotch cog, and this one's this one right here. It's the closest because it needs the most stability. And basically, it's a cross out of plastic with a nice trough in here, the same size as the post on the motor, so that as it goes around, it causes a back and forth motion. Over here, you can see that it's going, this one here is going back and forth with the uh, Scotch cog. And the same is true on the other side. This one is also going back and forth with the Scotch cog. They're gonna run lines that go down these tubes with this board's gonna hang overhead. And then uh, we'll attach the marionettes to those so that parts of them move. Also attached is a bell crank. This arm here is attached to the post. It goes all the way out. All this is built, by the way, out of ABS plastic. Uh, we started with a sheet of plastic right over there and cut it up with Dremels and whatnot. Voila, Ed with the plastic. Um, but basically, as this post goes around now, I'm converting that rotational motion into up and down motion via this bell crank. So, this is actually showing you a bunch of different ways to do little motor animations. And then, so that's the bell crank. I showed you the scotch cog. And over here, you'll notice I'm getting an up and down motion as well as an in and out. Uh, and that's a simple lever because it's attached to the wheel. It has two fulcrums because of how it raises up and down. Here is one fulcrum. As, it, as the wheel goes down, it pushes down on this fulcrum, lifting that up slightly. And then as it goes, as it lifts off of this one, this one picks it up as a fulcrum and helps guide it down. So once again, and right now both of these are going the same direction at the same time because that's how the wheel is set up. But you can run eyelets from here and then back down to here and that will help you get a different direction. So while this one is pulling back, this one is actually dropping in. So that's this setup, and here is the back of it. It's simpler than you think. It is a Fright Props uh, high torque motor, and we're not using much of the torque of this at all. It's very easy to set up. This is a speed controller. Ed, would you be okay if I uh, sp sped it up a little bit? And you can see the speed controller is pretty darn responsive. We don't know what speed we're going to run it at yet. It's really nice to have the uh, variable speed. Uh, and this is, this is pretty complicated. I'm pretty sure that Ed didn't think it would work when I first <laughs> told him about it. Once, but, uh, we gonna, once that worked, that, that was all going to work. And uh, this is a, a very expensive project box that I made for it out of a racetrack cup. Just that we'll put it down once we get our speed set and everything so nothing changes it or dust gets in the, the mechanism. So that is that. This is not so much a tutorial because this is pretty simple. It's just taking the time to do the work. The design was complicated. The design was complicated. The uh, execution was simple. Yeah, actually, I think we knocked this out in what, two hours? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, and it took me about two hours to design it in my head and then on paper, but once that worked, uh, I knew that this would work. And even if you had this kind of contraption sitting in a lab or you had a big clock scene or something, you know, it's cool moving stuff. And that's what motors are good for. So, all right, I'm out. <laughs>